can you see the dog? Good morning from Finland. There's the house. <laughs> and we're here in the yard. We decided not to go further. It's still dark and very wet. Everything is melting. There's the dog somewhere. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, not not feeling it this morning. <laughs> At least the air is very, very fresh. Yes, Jackie. Jackie lost the dog. There she is. I don't know, you can't see anything. Oh. Let's look at the house again. It's the only thing you can see. <laughs> and the sky. So pretty. Okay, we will continue walking around until she does her business. <sighs> yes, see you later, guys. Good morning. My name is Jana, and you're watching Finnish Knitting Stories. I'm doing Vlogmas this year, and this is day 14. Welcome. Oh, I started my day early. I had the alarm for half past five. I put our daughter in her school bus and now drove our son to school. Came back home to get my stuff and I'm heading off to work. I had no chance to record while, while kids were still at home. It was very noisy and busy here and we were a bit in a hurry. I don't know. Breakfast took longer than, than usually and and the school bus came early. So again, a very hectic morning. So I'm really happy to have these five minutes here to chat with you before I go to the town and start my day. Um, thank you all for the wonderful comments on my yesterday's vlogmas. Uh, I'm sorry for my terrible accent and pronounce pronunciation. And I have practiced, practiced and give, give me a second. Entrepreneur. Is that better? Is that is that how it's supposed to sound? I found a video on YouTube how you should pronounce that and entrepreneur. Is that more is that more clear? I don't know what I was saying yesterday, but obviously not that. I mean as in a business owner, not as an interpreter, not as a translator, but as a as a business owner. Entrepreneur. Yes, I think that's how it should sound, right? <laughs> Tell me, how am I doing? <laughs> okay. Mug of the day. Mug of the day is the one with Moomin Mama. I felt like picking Moomin Mama today. I have two of Moomin Mama mugs in my collection and this is the newer one. The older one has a slightly different picture and I love this one. Th this image is, is one of my favorites. I don't know. She just looks so relaxed there with her little purse and the cup of, cup of coffee <laughs> in her rocking chair. Yeah, and then she is busy here on the other side. And there is again the the helper that we talked about a couple of vlogmases ago. Yeah, there she is again, appears. And uh, mom and mama in the garden. I really love this one. Um, yeah, let's go to my sock. Let's go to my advent sock by the cozy knitter. Stripe number 13 is done. I just finished it while drinking my coffee. It's a wonderful dark beige. I don't know, will it, is it blowing out? How is the light here? Can you even see? There, <laughs> there is a new stripe. And I have my heel already in. And yeah, I usually like the heel with the flap and the gusset, the regular heel, but I just wanted to try something different this time. And I really didn't want to break my stripes. I wanted them all to be same, same size. And I think if I would do my regular gusset, then a couple of stripes would, would be shorter by a row or two. I think that's what usually happens, yes. Yeah, they definitely would be more more narrow stripes right here. These these two would be more narrow. Or yeah. I did not want that. I know nobody would notice, but I I, I would. <laughs> so I tried a different heel now. I talk about it also in my previous vlogmases. Um nothing else has happened since last night. I worked a bit on my botanic shawl. Yeah, that has grown a bit. There is my stitch marker. I progress keeper. I got this much done last evening. Not much, but slowly. It's slowly growing. I'm just gonna 
make it as as big as I have yarn, you know. <laughs> when the yarn is over, the shawl is over. <laughs> yeah, let's put it that way. Yeah, when my yarn ends. Still, still quite much to go over a half, but I have time, hopefully. Hopefully I have time. Um... Thank you for to everybody who said I should get a Delacue bag. I'm strongly considering it. Yeah, I, I know I don't need another bag, but I think it would be nice. It would go with everything else I have. It's a nice color. I'll show it to you later when I'm at work. If we have light. I don't know what kind of day are we going to have because it's still pitch black outside. Everything is melting. The weather is really warm. I think it's like plus one Celsius and... It's super slippery. We went out with the dog. I almost fell in our front yard because you could skate there right now. Need to need to put some gravel on it when I come back because now I can't even find the box where the gravel is because I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, but we we didn't go for a walk today with the dog. She she was not very excited. It's it's too wet, and neither was I. I did not have actually yeah. I had time, I just really didn't want to go into into the village in this dark weather because yeah. Let me show you let me show you my flower closer. Look, I got this yesterday in that cute little flower shop. It didn't come with the reindeers and the Christmas tree. I fell in love with this pot and there is one hyacinth. I wanted when I came in I thought I want something with hyacinths because I love those. At, during Christmas time. They are like my absolute favorite Christmas flowers. I don't know. What kind of flowers do you have for Christmas? We have those big red ones. I don't remember the name of them. Like in the Finnish it's called like a Christmas star. Joulutähti. Uh, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Then we have Amaryllis. It's like the big one on a... It's a tall flower with with big blossoms. And I'm okay with that, but I have tried to keep a couple of them alive that we have got as gifts, and I couldn't. I don't know, I'm doing something wrong with them. I'm trying to cut them down and store them in cool place over the summer, and still. I think I have managed once, but it didn't bloom. I'm not I'm not a flower pro. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got, I got myself these, and... When they are done, I usually pop them out in the in the garden in spring. I keep them alive. I try to keep them alive till spring and then they I pop them out. I have a little patch there in front of the house. Uh, yeah, this was this was very sweet pot. I, I fell fell in love with this flower pot. <laughs> that that's why I got this exact setting. Yeah, it came with the it came with a terrible white half a top bow and some green sparkly <laughs> um, Christmas balls. Yeah, they were there. So I took those out and I had these in my stash. I, I love little decorations like this. I have my own stash. It's themed. I have the Easter ones. I have the Christmas ones, winter ones, all kind of things. So those are mine. The, the, the deer and the little Christmas tree. <laughs> this this makes me happy. This kind of little things make make me happy always. I love them. Love them. Okay. What makes you happy? Do you like flowers? I like potted flowers. I don't like cut flowers that much because it's sad to see them die. No, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Anyway, they cheer me up, but potted flowers are even better. I have quite a few around. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm I'm procrastinating now. I should be going to work. It's a bit... What time is it? It's a bit past eight. Yeah. I should be going. I should be going. I don't feel like going out there. It's very wet and cold and wet. Mostly the wet bothers me. Cold, not so. Not so much, but yeah. Yeah, and windy. Okay. <laughs> yes, I need to pack. Check, I have a sheep bag. You have seen this if you have been watching my, my video podcast. This is by Antler and Acorn on Etsy. I got this a couple of years ago, probably. Lovely, lovely sheep bag. Um, yeah, okay. 
<laughs> not gonna not gonna make this any longer i hope i will see you later and have a really great day thank you for being here with me thank you for listening and see you later heippa Hi guys, I've been at work, it's midday, have my woolly layers, it's again very cold in the store. It's actually not cold outside, but that just means they they turned my heating down a little bit <laughs> and it's very cold inside. Yeah, uh, this is a pattern by Tina from TT2. I don't remember the name of, of this thing, I knitted several years ago, but it's, it's like a little little poncho shawl kind of thing well, i guess you can call it a little poncho it has fun pom-poms here and i need mine in a highland wool in a dk weight so it's very warm and toasty even though i have a merino dress under it's still very cold yeah i wanted to show you the bags just just the color just the color i think you will understand when you see the color are you ready <laughs> look at the new color that's petal I've been talking about. <sighs> Isn't she pretty? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a tote bag by Dela Q that we just we just got these in yesterday. They are absolutely wonderful. I'm so tempted to buy one, to get one of these. Wouldn't it just look great like this? I don't know. How do you, how do you how do you carry it? Wait, I'll put you down a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> There's also a strap. It has a snap buttons inside and it has a strap. Ah, it's not attached, but I hope I can I can do deal with this. Come on, come on. Yes. You can also carry it like like this. Isn't it wonderful? Wondering, does it work like this? Oh yeah, like this. Uh, I don't know. A rectangular bottom, little feet, lots of pockets inside as usual. <sighs> Delicute like bags. I'm loving this so much. I still have backpacks to unpack. I haven't even looked yet how a pink backpack looks like. There we have a coral one. This salmon, coral, I don't know, it's a salmon, but it's more of a coral to me. Uh, yeah, and there are all the other colors and models that we have right now. I, I saw one. I, I want one of these. You understand why, right? Because it's my color. It's my kind of color. <laughs> these are so pretty. Okay, enough about bags. That's a fluff from the, from the leather. Pockets here, pockets here, and here, here is a place for the pin, for the signature pin with stitch markers. I'm so very tempted. Okay, I'll put that, I'll put that down. What else I could show you? Are you interested? <laughs> What's new in here? I'll, I'll go get, grab something else to show you. Okay, are you ready for more bags? These are the little see-through project bags by Dela Q. We got the rainbow. Rainbow ones here. This is the big one. Check. That's quite big. There are, there are two pieces inside. And here are the little ones for like socks and notions and other little projects. Here are three bags in this set. So I don't have those in web store yet. I guess I would need to do that next. Yeah. These are lovely. Then, then 
I picked up these little shapeless Christmas kits for crochet. Okay, now it's in a you you see mirrored image, but okay. I hope we will we will be fine with that beautiful metal tin, and it comes if I can get it open. <laughs> if I can get it open, it comes with six balls of crochet cotton yarn. Very nice. I think nice nice gift idea for for somebody who who loves to crochet. Beautiful packaging, lovely tin. I'm doing advertising here <laughs> on my vlogmas. I don't know why. Because I don't have anything else to show you or tell you and I feel like I should I should show you something. So I will share part of my day. I'm going through the new stuff here. And then another exciting thing by Shape. Yes. Oh my god. Do you guys love mini skeins? How do you feel about 80 mini balls of merino sock yarn? How would you feel about that? That's like an instant blanket or, or something like that. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for this? <gasps> and wait, wait for it. Wait for it. <gasps> there is more, yeah. 80 mini balls of Shapius Metropolis. If I remember right, that's 75-25 Merino Nylon. 80 colors! 80 colors, guys! I don't know. I might take one of these home. <laughs> no, no I won't. Yes, I will. Imagine I could knit a cozy memories blanket from this. Just like instantly. And the best part, it, it actually will go with uh, with also hand-dyed yarns because the, the the weight is same, these are fingering weight and uh, yeah, and the content is same, merino nylon. How cool is this as a Christmas gift? I don't know, that's like a dream. Dream come true. Instant mini mini yarn kit. Okay, I don't know what else I could show you. I'll be back. Okay, one more thing by Delacue, just because it's so awesome. There is a beautiful brown box. What's in the box? Can you guess what's in the box? This, this thick. Can you guess? Can you guess? It's a needle case. <laughs> it's a needle case. And again, I picked the pink one. I don't know why. We also have other colors there. <laughs> but like, pink one. There are all kind of little things that come with it. Cards and... Uh, Darning needle and a little little notebook for for your project notes and let's open this Let's open this up. I think this is a beautiful Christmas gift idea If you have a lot of interchangeables lying around and you need a beautiful home for them <sighs> There there it is How pretty is that look there are needle sizes marked on the pocket then it comes with a teeny tiny it comes with a sorry my head is cutting off but i, I think you all know how i look like it's about the need <laughs> needle case like check it comes with a teeny tiny scissors and they have their own pocket how nice is that now i can't get them back in and uh, yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> not a shopping channel <laughs> just sharing with you here are pockets and here are zipper pockets and look here is one more pocket for notions and then there is this little ring with the stitch markers and you can fit way more here as well does this come off <gasps> this comes off check you can you can grab it with you on the go this comes off and then it snaps back <laughs> i'm loving it I think if you're in the US, you can get this straight straight from Delacue. Yeah. In Finland? From me! From me! I have them in Finland. I don't think anybody else has them yet. At least. I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm the only one here who discovered these beautiful bags. Now, I've been drooling over them for, I don't know, for a year. And, yeah so happy they are available in Europe now as well. No, I put it in the wrong way. There. And in a lovely box ready for gift giving or for yourself. Okay. <laughs> that That's it. I shared my delicate joy with you. And a bit of yarn. Yeah, I still have needles to unload. 
need to refill this. I got more Knit Pros and Chaya Goose and Addis are still out some, some amount. Some Addis sizes are still out, but I hope to get them. Now, if not this year, then straight in January, there should come there should come a shipment of Addi because they all come from different places but now I, 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 I'm restocking the missing sizes for Chaya Goose 80 centimeter two and a halves are back they they have been out for quite a while now they are back I got them uh, <laughs> yeah I don't know why am I telling you that this is not a shopping channel and it's not about my yarn store but this is just my day today I went I went shopping before I came to work. Luckily groceries here open early. Some of them already at seven o'clock. So I dropped our son at school and I came I came to do a bit of a bit of Christmas shopping. Yeah, our son wants one a very specific toy and I can't find it anywhere. I know I have seen it before, but it's sold out and I looked online and I can't find it either, but I guess we will have to do with what we have. <laughs> yeah, luckily our daughter doesn't have a high demand. She just wanted a dolly and grandma bought her a doll. Grandma bought her a doll. Grandma took care of that. Yeah, I bought her a radio controlled Hello Kitty car <laughs> because she's been taking her big brother's radio controlled cars and he gets a bit upset because she's a, she's a rough driver. <laughs> <laughs> she bumps them into everything and he gets a bit upset and then he takes them away from her because they are his favorite cars and now I got her her own. It's pink. It has a Hello Kitty in it. It has a little figurine. It was on sale. I got it minus 40. So a great deal. <laughs> great bargain. Yeah. Why am I standing like this? Because my, my phone is in a weird place and I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> Not to have my head cut off. Yeah, okay. I think I'll go back to work. I have a couple of more orders to pack. Then I'll I'll put a shop a bit in order because it's open tomorrow. Yeah, if you've been wondering, the shop is not open every day because we live in a very small town. There's just not enough people. You have seen footage from around here. Yeah, uh, there's not enough people moving around. It's it is what it is. It's a reality. It's a small town. Nothing, nothing I can do. But the rest of the days, I'm, I'm still busy with my online shop orders, and I'm dyeing yarn. Also, the the other days, I'm actually here every day. So, and people know it. They anyway pop in, even if it's like closed. <laughs> they know they knock on the door, and I, I let them in, for a personal shopping spree. Yeah. Uh. What else? I think, I don't know. Yeah, I'll go back to work, then I'll go to drop the mail at the post office, and then I think I'll, I'll head home for the day. Because tomorrow is a long day. Tomorrow I'm here from 8 till 6. So that's a long day. I need I need to rest a bit. I've been feeling a bit of, a little bit of tired again. I've been feeling a bit tired. I don't know why. Probably because I haven't rested. Yeah, and then I've been trying to find gifts for my mom. I know she she wants new Christmas jammies or like a night dress or something like that. Something with long sleeves because she's been saying it's cold and all, all of hers are like uh, too light and she's freezing. So I've been looking for something for her. Didn't find anything today, but I hope I can go go to the to the city at the end of the week. We have one shopping mall there. It's not it's not huge, but I bet they have better selection there. Look, I'm wearing mascara today. Did you notice? <laughs> I look like a almost look like a human today. This is from my from my goodie box, the, the little pink one. I tried it out. It's okay. It's 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 fine. I will I will use it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Enough 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 chatting. Back to work. Back to work. My boss told me to go back to work. <laughs> Okay, see you later, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. I'm here for our traditional evening chat. It's already a tradition, isn't it? 
it's so nice to come here and talk to you a bit in the evenings after after my work day so i was at work today busy day as always in the store i planned to leave a bit earlier but that didn't happen there was again some glitch with the postal software again couldn't get packages through couple couple are left for tomorrow i hope my dear customers will understand and i hope they can wait one more day uh let's yeah i haven't been knitting yet in the evening i hope to knit when the kids are asleep I actually have dinner there cooking on a stove. I have so I have about five to ten minutes to talk to you. And then I need to go feed family. I hope hubby keeps an eye on it. That nothing nothing boils over. Okay, uh let's open my fiber calendar. I already actually opened it, not to make terrible noise. And we have this kind of interesting fiber today with all the colors. I again forgot to check what is in here, but I would say it's a merino with something. I don't know. Might be. I think I see a bit of silk and feels like there is something else. And then there was a card in today's bag. This kind of lovely card. So that goes into the queue. <laughs> into my spinning queue. Yeah. And then I thought to open my Artemis calendar. Calendar. I already cracked it open, not to make, not to make a lot of noise. <gasps> Look, that's so pretty. That's so pretty today. Look at it. Beautiful turquoise. Is it focusing? I hope. I hope it's focusing. Yeah. And the color name is Nymphaea. Nym Nymphaea. Yes something to do with nymphs and let's let's grab the other minis and see what do we what do we have so far i think i could almost build a fade from this i think it, it depends what what else i get there in the other baggies i still have quite a few left one two three four five i have seven open so five more to go i could almost no, not like that, but yeah, some kind of fade I could I could build from these. I don't know, why do I have camera so far? Uh, I can hardly reach you guys. Yeah, that's, that's it. And then one more thing I wanted to show you. Yeah, I'm, I ran out of the Christmas-related knits of the day, so I don't have those anymore. But I wanted to share one Christmas decoration that I've been working on. It's a knitting related. I have actually made these before. This would be my third one. I made my first and my friend liked it very much. So I gave it to her as a part of Christmas gift. Then I made another one. And now it lives in the store. And now finally <laughs> I'm making one for to stay here in my, in, my, in my craft room. I hope so. Third time is a charm, right? I hope, yeah, this one stays. I, I bet most of you have seen these already around because a lot of people have been knitting these but but I'm knitting fairy lights I'm knitting <laughs> I'm knitting myself a light I don't know can you see anything there I have a fairy lights and I'm knitting them on these giant needles and then I'll put them like this on a wall wait a second I want to see a bit of magic. <laughs> if give me a moment, yes, almost, almost. Oh, there, there. <laughs> Aren't these the coolest? And then I have these giant ten millimeter needles. These I think are, I would say these are forty five centimeters long. So, I'll put them through and put it somewhere on a wall and this will be my all year round Christmas decoration <laughs> actually yeah knit lights these look so cool I'll put them somewhere so knitting my lights I still have this much this much to knit uh, here are two I had two of these separately, so I have two plugs down there because I couldn't find lights long enough. Actually, I found, but they were black. They 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 were on a 
uh, that wire was black and I didn't want that. I really like this silver one. Or a transparent would, would have been great too, but I couldn't find couldn't find anything suitable. So I bought two pieces and then the, I joined them together and it will be around, I would say, this. Now I'm dropping everything. It, around this doll when I knit it. And yeah, I will put it somewhere there as a as a nice backlight for for my knitting corner. Can't wait. So excited about it. Oh, what else? Nothing much really. Nothing much has happened today. Just a usual day at work. Yeah, I picked kids from from their evening activities and we came home and just planning to have a very quiet evening. Nothing special. I added a couple of more decorations. Um, we have this Christmas village. I don't know. Uh, I think it's American-British tradition to have... I don't know. Is it American or is it British? Or is it both? When you put little houses and build a Christmas village. I have one beautiful set, but it's ceramic. And I tried to put it out last year and our daughter <laughs> made improvements. She broke a couple of pieces and I don't know, do I want to put it out this year? So I now, yeah, I, I may, I, I make, I, I'm, I'm trying it out. I put a couple of pieces that are resin. I have a few of those as well that are not ceramic. I put them out now and let's see if she's interested in them. Will she be trying to? <laughs> touch them and <laughs> yeah break something off we will see if she's not interesting interested in them this year i might just pull out my my big village and set it up because i miss it a lot we skipped a couple of years when kids were very little when they were yeah when they <laughs> they were interested in everything and yeah i tried to put it out last year and it didn't go well yeah, I hope I can fix what's broken. I think I just put it quickly in a box last year and didn't even fix it. I hope I can glue it back together and we will see. We will see. If I put it up, of course, I'll 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 show it to you as well. Now we have two two lonely houses there on the on the table. <laughs> Not a village, just two little houses. Maybe maybe I can get my village back this year. I don't know, have you heard about that kind of tradition? I don't know, which 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 country does it originate from? I have seen a lot of British vloggers doing that and also, also some American as well. I don't know, is it is it more British or is it more American? Share if you know anything about the Christmas villages. It's it's not a popular thing here in Finland or in Latvia or generally around here. I, I don't know anyone else who who has that. Yeah, people have some single houses with like music and spinning elements, but not the whole villages. And we have the whole village. I've been building it for years. <laughs> yeah, it, it was my childhood dream to have something like that. Because I don't know, I saw it in some movie when I was a little kid. And then I thought, oh my god, I want that so much. And then I grew up and then I started buying, <laughs> buying parts for my village. And it is really nice. I put lights in and sometimes some fake snow, sometimes not, sometimes just, just the houses. But we will see. Is it safe? Is it safe here this year? <laughs> or do I need to wait another year that she would grow a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to go and serve dinner. Yeah, otherwise it, it is it is pretty late already. I bet everybody's hungry. And and what else? Nothing else really. <laughs> I'm I'm a bit a, bit a bit slow today. I think I'm tired again probably. I think I, I would need a good rest. No, luckily holidays are coming and I can I can take a bit off work yeah tried today but that didn't work out <laughs> having problems to focus on on one spot okay yeah 
I think I'm gonna go now and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for being here. Bye!